Hi, my name's Phil McAleer and this is my application for the SSI Fellowship Programme. This is SciTeachR. That's me. I'm a lecturer in the School of Psychology at the University of Glasgow. For the past three years I've been working with a group of colleagues to develop the SciTeachR initiative. SciTeachR is aimed at improving the research methods training of undergraduate students within our school here at Glasgow. At its core is the focus of teaching reproducible research practices and does this through developing undergraduate skills in the area of programming skills, data visualisation, data wrangling and reproducible reports. All our materials are freely available on our website. The SciTeachR initiative was born out of the replication crisis in psychology and from viewpoints such as this one in 2016 that proposed that we can only hope to change our culture by instilling the principles of transparency and scientific rigour at the grassroots level. The software we use is R. We find it a very intuitive and flexible tool to teach these skills with. In this initiative, we have created a set of interactive labs that through a series of tasks, help develop the skills that we value as researchers. Along the way, we have sections where students can gain more information if they wish. And we have MCQs that allow them to make sure that they are understanding the concepts and performing the task correctly. We also explain the answers as well, so no student should ever feel completely lost. Finally, we supply the answers in an interactive manner and encourage students to make use of the solutions to learn more about coding and how software can be best used to do what they need. Feedback from students who have been through our course has been highly positive. Rebecca, who is now one of our PhD students, suggests that the SciTeachR work has not only improved her analytical skills, but has also improved her communication skills, as well as giving her a better understanding of the importance of open science. But while SciTeachR has been heavily influential in how we teach undergraduates here at Glasgow, we've also used it to help with our admin, embedding it into our daily practice. Here you see an example of how a basic lecturer's marking sheet for a set of essays can be converted to an online feedback document for each individual student. This process has also been developed as part of SciTeachR and allows us to generate all different types of informative feedback for each individual student simply through running a code. One additional benefit we have seen is that our students, having recognised the importance of the skills that they are being taught and realising that other students were not receiving the same skills, decided to create their own club to teach other students. They called this Guru. Our students have recognised the benefits of this approach and the open source and nature of the initiative allows for extensive adaptability. Likewise, some of our fellow researchers are starting to notice the benefits of this improved teaching practice and how more efficient it makes working with students in their respective labs. External collaborators have also pointed out how much more employable students are who have been through this initiative, as data skills is now seen as one of the top five sought after skills in graduates. But really, there's still much more to do. And whilst we've been able to hold one or two workshops and put our materials online, there are regular calls for more workshops and more materials as the field starts to realise that it is possible to teach in this fashion. And yet in all of this we acknowledge that it's not simply about a software or changing teaching approach. Community development is just as important in this initiative, both within and across schools in the UK. As such, were this application successful, my plan for the fellowship would be to build pedagogical collaborations both internally and externally to improve research methods training across the UK. I'd look to develop a large community that can pull resources together, storing these materials in a central hub for all to make use of. Additionally, I would like to develop a seminar series that would help establish the best practices in the area. This would help further develop the sense of collaboration across the field. But predominantly I would look to run a series of workshops and training days, similar to the successful ones we have already run, that would help show others how to integrate the SciTeachR initiative into their own school, through their teaching, through their admin and through their research. These events would be aimed at both the postgraduate and academic level, as in our experience collaboration across the levels has led to the best developments as Guru mentioned earlier is testament to.
And ultimately, I believe that everyone benefits through the SciTeacher initiative as we develop a strong field of highly trained undergraduate researchers. Thank you for listening.